Oh yeah, I need my wallet. Here we go. Such a good episode, and I unfortunately will have to do a review on this instead of a reaction because I did both the episodes. Daga, Show Pro is being such a darn jerk that they basically block my reaction on episode two. So honestly, after watching this series of Pokemon, um, it's called Horizons, right? Which is supposed to be this, uh, not secret. Well. I, I would probably call it a alternative sequel, which is basically this girl named um, Liko that supposed to go to this um, Poké school, I believe, and um, adopting this uh, Nia Nia Hoga. I'm saying it in Spanish, by the way, because I know Nia is it Nia, right? I, I know I'm not saying the Pokemon's name properly. It just sucks that it got blocked twice. Um, basically, it's, it's really good so far, and also, I gotta fix the darn blinds. I don't wanna break it, but... <gasps> oh, there's her cat! I don't wanna understand how cats can get up there so easily. It's just like laying in his butt on top of the roof, and there's the moon once more after walking the other night. Basically, after watching the first two episodes, I'm already... Oh, I'm not dropping you. I'm not dropping you. Honestly, I don't want to drop him downstairs. The thing is, after watching the first two episodes, it's really, really good. Because, honestly, the, the connection between Liko and her um, grass cat Pokemon, it gives me Ash... Um, Ash and Pikachu vibes of how when Ash basically first met Pikachu, right? Ash Ketchum. Um, after the three starter Pokemon Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur were already adopted. And I wonder if, I wonder if Professor Arc, because that's supposed to be Gary's god godfather, grandfather, right? That basically gave him those Pokemon. Um, they basically had to go do a lot of hardships in order to actually build a such a strong connection. And watching episode two so far, it's really good. I want to show more. It's just that I got to be really cautious since I did try to crop like a minute out of it, but it still got blocked. So I did be apologize that y'all can actually watch the reaction. So, um, and yeah, it is getting dark right now because the time is 727, right? And it's, damn, you know what, what's today? Today's the 23rd, right, of April and it's on a Sunday. So, um, if I can actually just get back. Um, and for the ones that really enjoy my Beatles, especially the little IQ one, it means a lot. If you basically watch, you know, I'm, I'm probably a little self-centered, 25% of it. You know, because I just want to make sure that my videos are at least reaching out to someone. So, uh, you know what, because it, it, it's, it's difficult to actually upload Pokemon videos on YouTube. It, it, it is, Poke videos, if I actually could say so for myself. But watching this episode, right, because... The thing is, this girl, Liko, she has this necklace that has this unique power um, that, that her grandmother gave to her, right? That unleashed this unique legendary Pokemon, which I'll be showing shortly. And also, I kind of... Can I just share this really quick? This is adorable. Um, I don't understand it. Captain Pikachu. Who could have thought? And, oh, I was wrong. I thought the stripe was up here, but basically... Not the stripe. The the co the color of Pikachu's tail is is brown. I thought it was black. It's been a long time since I watched the original. But um, and plus, if Pikachu's tail is basically like a square and it's pointy, it's a male. If it's a heart shape, it's a female, right? You got this um man, right? It reminds me of of uh, Wes. I like to call him from Pokemon Coliseum because of his white hair. That's supposed to be the captain of this airship and, and whatnot. Um. What's his name again? Because his, uh, one of his other crew is Molly. Freed. That's his name. Okay. That makes perfect sense now. And they had a, oh, he's so hot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they went up against these three crooks that want to steal, it's, I would call it Locket, but it's the necklace that, um, Liko has, right? That basically unleashed this force field, um, 
Pentagon is five, right? Like polygon, uh, polygon, excuse me, not Pentagon. That's not a word, I think. And basically, that's how the Pokemon was released, right? It's a really, really good episode. And I love how tall he is. Gosh. Anyway, and excuse me if you can see the height difference. Um, the leader of the rising Voltasaurus. So Vol Voltasaurus is supposed to be a pokey move that Pikachu basically has learned when he basically had to match with whoever his name is. They had this Pokemon um, named Soul Blades, which is an interesting name for a Pokemon. And also, the way his hair is covering his eye, that's something else. Yeah, that's that's anime for you, honestly. Um, I don't want to show too much because it's really difficult to actually up, uh, you know, do pokey videos like this. But damn, the height difference—he's hot. And excuse me, and I love his eyes. <sighs> All right, sorry about that. Um, I apologize. It's been a long time since I. Okay, am excuse me. I'll show that for the for the third one for anyone that's interested. But basically. Captain Pikachu, he knows Thunder Punch, which is amazing if you actually ask me. Because usually it will be Thunder, Thunder Shock, and Thunderbolt that basically Ash taught Pikachu, right? And of course, Crick Attack, which is supposed to be the four moves. And this move that he actually learned um, is Shadow Clone. So Shadow Clone in this generation is practically double team. I didn't know that that's the name for a move. That is really cool. So, and at Tabesha Psycho Cutter, these, man, attack moves is amazing. The, the names are just so creative. But honestly, just watching this episode, plus with Molly's um, Chainsaw, Chainsaw, Chansey Jacket, is just the damn cutest, honestly. So, other than that, after watching the first two episodes, it's really good, right? Because, once again, basically, not to mention, just also to see Charizard once more, is... Oh, damn, I had to zoom in. I apologize. It's so it's so ridiculous that Shopo is really strict when it comes to people that upload Poke videos. It's... Trust me, I try to I try to switch back and forth like I normally do, but they block the whole thing. I can't even, like, crop, like, a minute out of it. It sucks Monkey Boss. I might need to do it, like, every six seconds or something. Well, nine seconds is too long. Six seconds would probably be fine. Four seconds might be a little too short, but it still needs to be a little short. But yeah, basically, after watching this episode, and this is supposed to be the Pokemon, which we don't know yet, right? That is a turtle. Okay, but by the looks of it, it has to be. It looks like a fairy, and I can't tell. It's not an ice type, even though it seems like it, but it's crystal, right? So, I wonder if it's both a psychic and fairy type. It kind of reminds me of... I can't... You know, not, um, that's the, the that's the Pokemon's name, Torkoal, right? It's like a cuter yet more rarer, rarer version of... I just forgot the name, did I? Basically, the Pokemon that you cast from Pokemon Coliseum, right? It's like that. So to speak. And after watching this, this is really, really good. And the funny thing is, is that you go straight into the fight. And basically, um, the crooks wanted to catch her. And what's really heartbreaking in the end of this episode, right? This is episode two, by the way. Episode one is amazing because we get to know more about the backstory. And basically, Liko making friends with um, that girl that has like a tooth. Um, I like to call it the wolf tooth, right? Because it hangs out like this. In front of, uh, in front, um, outside your mouth, right? Um, and basically, the crooks caught. Um, I forgot the Pokemon's name again. Unfortunately, darn it! And the boy, which I'm guessing we'll be meeting on episode three, is Roy, right? Kind of reminds me of um that black boy. Well, because he sees black, right? Um, from Sun and Moon, um, the one that basically. It, um, has the fire type Pokemon. I don't remember his name, but basically they caught they caught her, which is really heartbreaking. I I want to say bastards, honestly, with the Skarmory, and I forgot that Pokemon's name that involves her Murkrow, because they know that that Pokemon has potential, right? Need hold. I, I like to say in Spanish though, but can I just turn this up very quick? I swear that gives me chills when she's screaming out for her. Honestly, for Neil Holga! I hope I said the name right. Side cut. 
Man, I got in so emotional when I just saw that part. Because honestly, I was really hoping that nothing would happen to that adorable grass cat Pokemon, right? I love her already. And it's so funny because it only knows the move Leafage, which reminds me of Razor Leaf. But yet again, the way that she used it, it's as though she used Solar Beam on that damn bitch, right? Whomever his name is. And I just say that Pokemon has potential. It's kind of like reminds me of how Pikachu would use Thunder against the Spearow from the first episode when Ash and Pikachu were stranded in the rain. I cried watching that episode, by the way. Well, when I did a reaction like eons ago. And basically, Pikachu almost getting hurt with the the, the whole um, herd of Spearow that was supposed, supposed to be talking not only Pikachu, but also Ash. This enemy has potential. Yes, it is different because I was, I was a little nervous that Ash won't be making an appearance anymore. However, though, Daga, um, I'm sure in future episodes, he'll probably make like a little cameo or whatnot, and we get to see him with Pikachu. And it's awesome to see... Um, I forgot that man's name just now. What's we'll just call him? Um, Freed, right? I think that's his name. With Captain Pikachu. And what's so cute, I cannot find the time frame, though, because I was focusing on watching the, the full reaction, right? Not to mention that Pokemon that I was talking about, that... No, no, no. Not it's the other to Totoro Pokemon. That that one, the one Torkoal. That's the fire type, right? I forgot the Pokemon saying Shuckle, Shuckle. I love Shuckle. Um, basically, I cannot find a time frame, but it's really cute how the way um, the Captain Pikachu um, was standing on his tail. I can't really find that clip, unfortunately, because that's after basically Freed saved um, Liko and whatnot, and. What's really cute is that, um, Dion, it's hard to explain it. Okay, I, I, I need to probably, I, I have to, I may use that as a thumbnail, I'm not sure. I just had to think of what I'll be using the thumbnail for this episode. Little episode one as a recap, right? Um, basically for, um, damn it, I, I apologize, I keep saying um so much because I'm trying to think of what I want to say. Uh, this is what I like about this um this series right is that they give you they'll get, they'll tell you what, what will be happening in the next episode and also they give you like a little quiz i basically failed because i thought sweet scent would be like a battling move but it's basically nia holga um i don't know say the name right okay what's called nia right because i think in japanese that's how you say like meow um it basically is it, it's some base Right? Which is how it gets that power. I'm not sure what the heck Sweet Scent does. I don't remember exactly because I don't know much about grass types. But I really like this, honestly. Oh, let me turn up again. There he is. Okay, there we go. So basically... Oh, he's so hot. Um, excuse me. I'm not kidding. He's hot as hell. Um, the way that Pikachu just stands on his tail is just the cutest thing ever. Because Pikachu is our mascot, right? And they do give you this little quiz you know about the pokemon and its weight and basically about it right giving you a description and yeah i, I suck so i keep switching back and forth because shopo is really strict with this stuff unfortunately even if you use images i don't know why though i hate japan for the strict like pokey loss but other than that, basically, they give you this little quiz of what which action makes sweet scent grow stronger so this is the key because Green, it's a grass type, right? Even though that's not always the case, because it's only episode two right now. You know, episode, episode, um, dos, right? Saying it in Japanese and in Spanish, I call it ja um, Japanish. <laughs> but um, uh, you basically got eating, okay? Submitting itself, and then battling, and then you know, th this is like a great way to actually learn more about the Pokemon. So it's it's a really good series. I hope the Buddhist body like, this does not get blocked if I show like. I don't know how many seconds I showed, like seven seconds, I think. Because that'd be ridiculous, because I'm sure there are other Poke, um tubers that basically have covered this, but I want to watch this myself because I grew up with Pokemon since the very beginning. If you don't believe me, well, the outfit I'm wearing, right? Wearing the original, okay? Charmander, Pikachu, Scrotto, and last but not least known, Babasaur, because he's posted the first Pokemon in the Pokedex. And of course, wallet. So, and not to mention, I miss my 
Eevee plush keychain that I actually have in my Pokey, um ball backpack. Basically, um, he actually must have... I must have been walking so fast back home, right? I must be like Pikachu just running. And the the part of the keychain must have clipped off from, you know, like the, the zipper. You know, the, the hook. Um, if I actually could show the example, right? Like drew out this hole here. And I cannot find him. So, yeah, I miss my EV Plus keychain. Guys, I did a video you know, a long time ago from GameStop that I adopted him. And I love that game. So the woman there, because we basically traded my, like, charging switch controller. I got some bones out of it, which is nice. Um, basically, she's the one that I um, captured on camera that day when I wanted to adopt an Eevee. So, yeah, other than that, um, I love that game stuff. It's in Chris Town, by the way. I hope that y'all should enjoy this like a little review. And I'm definitely looking forward for the um, um, episode of uh, No Sun. And I think that's about it for now. And also, I had to share this once again. It's kind of odd that my piece is, or at least the, the, the pack is like a heart shaped. And you see here, if I open the heart, you know, to y'all for enjoy my videos, I still ate this pizza that's been here for like a week. So, other than that, I just like to actually just share that. This is a little bit random. And what do y'all think about this episode? And also, Freed. Uh, sorry, Ams! 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 Ams!